Okay, this is another video on uh, grafting. This is a standard cleft graft. You can see it appears to be quite successful. Um, Paco, oh, Fraus, Fra, is it, I'm sorry, Paco, but I think it's Frausta. Uh, Frausto. Um, he, he was generous enough to come down here and uh, graft for an experiment we're running. Um, uh, as much as I appreciate him coming and doing this graft, it, it's, it's not the ideal graft. It's a cleft graft. You can see how much damage it does to the stock. Uh, you would think, oh, well, it's it's growing, you should be quite happy. Well, yeah, I am happy, uh, and we can get results from it, too. But it was not an ideal graft. We've had, like, two strong flushes since it was grafted in April. And I'd have to remove all of them. And <clears throat> so the plant gets weakened, even though it appears that the graft will... Um, recover because of the nice strong shoot there. But uh, let me show you the other grass. All right, this is the second of three. I'm taking off the shade cover to the plastic bag, which I just recently vented here. Just cut holes in the plastic bag. And you can see that this one also is growing. Um, can't tell if that's a vegetative or reproductive shoot, but <clears throat> signs of life. Now, this is um, the same uh, scion or um, top for each one of these different rootstocks. This rootstock here is. Um, Hylocerus undatus. It's the giant Vietnam. Let's see, I have about five plants here. Let's see, step back. And they're doing nicely. But I want to see how this does on with this Guatemalensis. American Beauty is Guatemalensis. And it has a problem with the cold winters. It gets very chlorotic. It's coming out of it now, but uh, weak spring growth as a result of the chlorosis. Let me stop again. Okay, here at the, the third one. And this one is not growing. You can't see it in the bag. And I have the bag completely closed for, you, you know, 100% humidity. Helps with the healing. Now, so aside from the type of graft this is, which is the cleft graft... Uh, the experiment really is to test the three different rootstock. This is um, the Lisa, so it's Hylocerus costarricensis. And so what we've done is we've grafted American Beauty, Hylocerus guatemalensis, onto the costarricensis. It's a possibility that um, it's incompatible. But if we can get it to grow, then we want to see if the rootstock here of the Lisa will influence the top of the um, uh, plant by performing better in the winter, maybe adding more vigor in the summer. And uh, so we can get a... a test of that with the one the two that we have growing which let's go let's go back to those 